Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove and install the circulation pump in your dishwasher. Check out some tips and things you can do to get the job done. Let's get started. So I'm working on Bosch model She3 AR76UC. To be safe, unplug your dishwasher. Turn off the dishwasher shutoff valve and turn off your main water source. While I'm removing the kick plate, take a look at some of the tools you'll need for this project. I'll share a tool tip later on. Make sure you get both of your screws and put them together so you don't lose them. Remove the kick plate and then remove the insulation that's under your dishwasher. Look for the water supply line and grab a tray just in case water comes out. Just so you know, what I'm doing here is unscrewing the water supply line fitting from the inlet valve. It took a little bit of muscle, but I removed the covering off the plastic water line. Then I pulled the tube out and placed it in the tray to collect the excess water. This is the time to grab your drill so you can remove the screws that hold the dishwasher legs in place. Open the dishwasher door to gain access to the mounting brackets and use your drill to unscrew them from the counter. Turn the dishwasher legs counterclockwise to shorten them. Here's a tip. I found out that by lifting the dishwasher with one hand, I could easily unscrew the legs with my fingers. Now it's time to pull the dishwasher out from under the counter and turn it sideways so that you have access to the drain hose. Grab your container and place it under the hose to catch any water that may spill. Use your pliers to open the clamp and pull off the hose. Look at all that water coming out. Here's a tip. The power cord was already unplugged from the outlet, but some units allow you to unplug it from the dishwasher. Before we go to the next step, make sure you have a star-shaped screwdriver. I found this three-piece key set at my local home improvement store. Turn the filter basket counterclockwise to remove it. Then pull the lower spray arm straight up to remove it. Now you can remove both of the screws that hold the lower arm brace to the sump. Lift the arm brace so that it is fully detached from the sump. Now you can use the torque screwdriver to unscrew the other two screws so that the sump is fully detached from inside the dishwasher. Find the right size on your star screwdriver that fits the dishwasher door, then remove all of the screws around the border of the door. Here's a tip. You may want to use gloves when removing the door so that it doesn't cut your fingers. Also, be careful to make sure the door does not fall. Now you can gently turn the dishwasher on its back. Twist the drain pump clockwise to remove it. Then grab your Torx or star screwdriver and remove the two plastic braces that are holding the sump to the base of the dishwasher. Now gently remove the sump or just let it pop out. Here's a tip. Take a couple of pictures so you know where each of the wires go when it's time to replace the circulation pump. Remove each of the wires by gently pulling them from the sump. The goal is to keep them intact. Now it's time to pull the rubber brace off of the sump. On the other side of the sump, I twisted the circulation pump left to right until it came off of the sump, just like a vacuum hose. Look at that. Now you have officially removed your circulation pump from your dishwasher. Here's a tip. It's a good idea to clean your sump while you have it outside of your dishwasher. 
I use the clean tissue to go around the outside and inside the sump. Let's install a new circulation pump in the dishwasher. Connect the circulation pump to the sump by firmly pressing the two open holes into each other. Twist to make sure your connection is secure. Place the rubber brace over the holding slots that connect the sump to the circulation pump. Here's a tip. Place some of the wires over the sump when you place it back into the dishwasher so that you don't break the connections. Take the two plastic braces and screw them back into the sump. Here's a tip. Use your two pictures as a reminder of how you should place each of the wires back into the circulation pump. Grab the drain pump and twist it back into the sump counterclockwise. Reinstall the plastic cap that protects the wires. While the dishwasher is still on its back, attach the plastic drain hose and cover. Place the dishwasher in the upright position. Here's a tip. When you open the dishwasher door, place the lower rack on it to help keep it open. Use your two screws to reconnect the lower arm brace so that it is fully attached to the sump. Then use the other two screws to connect the sump to the base of the dishwasher. Place the filter basket into the sump and turn clockwise to lock it. Place the lower spray arm into the brace and push until you hear and feel the click. The door backing goes back on the frame. Be gentle so the dishwasher does not fall forward. Use your star screwdriver to secure all of the screws back onto the door. Now you can place the lower rack back into the dishwasher. Tightly secure the water supply line back on the inlet valve, but remember to be gentle because the inlet valve is plastic. Use your pliers to place the clamp on the water supply line hose behind the dishwasher. Plug in the power cord to the dishwasher. Push the dishwasher into place. Lift the dishwasher and raise the legs. Drill in the leg holding screws. Place the sound insulation back under the dishwasher. 
Grab the kick plate or access panel and screw it back in place. Reattach both mounting screws under the counter. Plug the power cord into the outlet. Turn on all of your water sources. And always check the dishwasher to make sure that it's working. Thanks for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. And remember, you can DIY too.